everybody. For today's assignment, it's going to be a follow-up to what we did earlier this week. Earlier this week, I showed you how to create um, really simple characters using simple shapes. What we're going to do today is um, to take those, char those characters we made with simple shapes, and then we are going to add some shading to them. Some simple, simple shading techniques that you can use to create your, your character. So again, the purpose is um, for people who feel really intimidated creating characters and feel like maybe um, this is a little out of their range of abilities, but this is just a technique that's gonna show you that, that we can all create really interesting characters. Okay, so now we have our two figures, um, the really, really simplified, simple shape, and then also a character um, that I've drawn a lot and practiced a lot, so I was able to draw it um, a little bit quicker. Um, but we have our two characters. I'm gonna show you some simple shading techniques that are gonna work with both to add a little bit of depth to our character, but without too much detail. And again, I'm all, just like yesterday, I'm only, I'm only using a Sharpie. So um, we're not doing any blending, we're not doing um, any techniques like that. So what I'm going to start with is just creating some simple lines. Notice that I'm very light with the um, drawing utensil with the Sharpie and just creating some simple lines and it gives a little bit of depth to the backpack, a little bit of almost a shadow on the back of the backpack. And again, no blending necessary. Again, I can do the same thing. Very, very small, very light on different parts of the character. And I'm imagining in this that the sun, the light source is kind of hitting him from this direction, so the shadows are gonna be on the back. So again, just adding some simple simple lines. This is going to be a very simple and minimal style. So there's not much to that. It's just simple marks, simple lines that are creating almost like a shadow, creating a little bit of interest to the character. If you wanted to make parts of the clothing darker than other parts of the clothing, you could, um, for instance, if I wanted to make the backpack um, darker than the outfit that the character is wearing, I could go in and add some other vertical lines. Could add some horizontal lines. And then now the backpack almost looks like it is a darker shade than the rest of the outfit. So just some simple shading techniques there. If I was to sh um, do shading on my second artwork, the one on the right here, um, I'm gonna do some of the same techniques. I'm gonna also pretend like the light source is hitting my character from this way. I'm gonna think about where that might mean the shadows are gonna be and I'm just going to work a little lightly and quickly with the marker. Notice I'm not shading it perfectly in and making the area completely black, um, but I'm just giving some light markers to signify that it's being, that that area is in a shadow. So I'm going in and finding areas that may have a little bit of shadow. Um, if the light's hitting my character there, the helmet's probably gonna block the backpack right here. So I'm probably gonna give a little bit of a shadow. These lines, I'm not, I'm not worrying about these lines being perfect. I just want little lines and I don't wanna overdo it either. It can be really tempting to try to make try to make our shading perfect and to really go in with the marker and color in, um, but you can really end up overdoing it pretty easily. Um, so we want to avoid that just by creating light and simple marks. And you'll see the, the astronaut, this character's outfit is gonna be mostly white. So I'm gonna be very, very light with the shading and only leaving just like a few little marks. And notice how impactful just a couple marks can be. 
Now in the helmet, because the 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 outfit, I was a little more um, a little more sporadic with the movement because this is fabric that's going to be moving a little more freely. Um, but the helmet is going to be a little more static and stationary, so my shading marks are um, also going to be straighter lines, sort of like that, similar to our character on the left. Just adding some simple, simple shading. Okay, and there's a couple simple shading techniques. So again, to review, um, using simple lines, um, not overdoing it. If we overdo it, it becomes really messy and just hard to read and, and just doesn't look quite as professional as clean. So I hope this was helpful being able to um, see these techniques in action, see the techniques being actually done on paper. The purpose for that is if you were to create an entire graphic novel, um, you would not necessarily have time to go in and detail and shade every single character and every single box and every single image. That would take a long time. Um, so this is a way to get kind of an impactful image, a um, interesting image out on paper with some shading and detail without it taking too much time.